This is a 700 milliliter bottle of water and I usually use a liter but uh, I'm just going to make a little bit of terrace gelata so I cut back on the recipe. I usually use uh, three quarters of a liter bottle of water and then put 250 grams of ball clay in it. But uh, I cut it down about a third. So before I start dumping the ball clay into the water, I'm going to put my respirator on. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to put a little bit of Darvon in it and let it sit for a little while and come back and see if it's separated. If it has clear water on the top, I'll add a little more Darvon to it because I don't want the clear water. I, want it, I don't want it to separate that much. I just want the heavy stuff down at the bottom. So I put in about seven drops of, of Darvon. This is Darvon 7. And I'll shake it for a little bit. And then when I come back, I'll check it. All right, so we'll see how that looks in about uh, an hour. All right, so this has sat for about an hour and it's separated so that you can see a darker level down here right about that much. So that's what we don't want for the terrace gelata. However, there's no clear uh, area up top, so that's good, so it's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is punch a hole right above the dark spot. There we go. Okay, so this is this, the part I want. You can still see the dark layer down below, about from here down, so I don't want that. I just want the top level. And this is a pretty fast way of making terrace gelata. We'll start, uh, this is what's left of the original mix of the ball clay and water and Darvon. And this is what I decanted by putting a hole in the, buck, in the bottle here. So I got the top part of the clay mix. So that's what I'm going to use for terrace gelata. And terrace gelata is an old um, process, originally Roman, possibly Greek, and it just means kind of settled earth. So what I'm going to do now, the, the piece should be bone dry, it should be real smooth, and I'm just going to start applying some very thin coats to it. And because it's dry, it'll soak in really fast. You can see it's, it's going on thin and it's going on and getting soaked in and drying quickly. So as soon as I get a coat on, I'll start burnishing. And I burnish with a soft uh, sponge, kind of foam rubber or, or whatever you would call that, the kind of stuff that goes into pillows for cushions or egg crate mattresses. I'm going to make there, sure there's a coat in all the spots. I, I'm wondering if I have a couple little dry spots on there. Okay, so that should be enough. So I'll burnish it in a minute as soon as I don't see any sheen on the top. Okay, I think it's ready to burnish, so I'm going to start just uh, buffing it. And these little uh, makeup sponges, they're very nice to use too. So you can see how it buffs up real easily. And if you want it to be shinier, you can keep putting a few more coats on. You don't want to get too thick or it can chip off. Okay, so this is the final burnishing. Uh, it looks pretty good, it's pretty shiny. I'm happy with it. 
So that'll get bisque to cone 09 so that I don't lose the shine. And then it'll go into either a uh, Sager or an Obara firing or a horsehair firing. So that's ready to go. This process is uh, for horsehair and feathers. One pot I'll try to get just horsehair on and the other pot I'll try to get just feathers on. And I, I usually have a bigger bed that I can roll it farther, but this will work. And uh, I just roll it around on the feathers and the horsehair and it, it's real fast. If the pot gets too cool, it doesn't uh, smoke on very well. So you have to do it quickly while it's hot. I, uh, at home, I have ducks in my backyard and I collect feathers whenever they get into a ruckus. But these are from Michael's and uh, they're about $2 a bag and they're really easy to get a hold of. So you can, there's quite an assortment of feathers at Michael's. Or you can go to a turkey farm before Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm going to put some horsehair down on this side and just a couple pieces so it's not too heavily put on there. And I sometimes like to make patterns with it so it's interesting. So right now we're lucky there's no breeze. That should work. So hopefully uh, it'll stay there till we're ready. I'm going to turn up the uh, gas a little bit. This is on really low. It's barely ignited. And then I turned it up just a little bit, like not even a 32nd of an inch on the circumference. And this is going to turn it up a little bit more. And you can always drop it on top if you want. 